Welcome back in a church gym that's provided fun and structure to teenagers in Garfield Heights for two decades is in the midst of a revival. So I was at St. John Lutheran back in May watching children hoop it up at the church gym and church leaders. They shared then that they were really kind of struggling to raise money for improvements. Lighting was bad, more than half not working. And after our story, the community really rallied. And I told you back in August that they were able to finally get some new lights. We got gifts in the mail, we got phone calls, um, people I don't know that saw the story and encouraged us to keep going. And now the city and Cuyahoga County Council are coming in with an assist focused now on the floor that's missing some tiles and has cracks in it, among other imperfections. In September, a new season of Thursday night open gym tipped off at St. John Lutheran under new LED lights. Hey, they feel like they're playing in a real gym and not just something that's kind of makeshift for them. R&E Electric did the work and contributed about 10 grand in parts and labor. The owner sat down with me in August after doing the installation. I tell you, I got some really good workers so they contributed a, a lot. And as the church carried the ball down the court on the upgrade, it caught the attention of Garfield Heights Mayor. Mayor Matt Burke. And I think you were with us when we looked at that court. It was just really missing tiles. It's it's not a very um, adequate floor. Patchwork over the years quite evident. It's been a concern of safety and yet the kids still come and play basketball. It's a call to arms and basically we got together, we collaborated. Burke speaking with the church, city council and Cuyahoga County Council President Pernell Jones Jr. Oh, I play basketball. Who wants to bounce on the pool and that ball bounces crooked, you know? Has led to a resolution asking the county council to allocate up to about $36,000 in American Rescue Plan Act money to install a new gym floor at St. John Lutheran, which the men say is about more than just basketball games. It helps to build that family dynamic that I think is missing in our society today. Monday, Burke went before a county council committee to ask for support. You can't, you can never put any kind of a price on the smiles that it creates for the, this youth. Jones Jr. telling me programs that give young men and women structure and steer them away from trouble are worthy of investment. It's an anchor partner. It's a stakeholder. The church not only serves within with the spiritual needs, but they're reaching outside of the community. Players who use the gym now and did so many years ago called this court a lifesaver. Had it not been for like an open gym space uh, here at the church, what do you think might have might have happened to, to you and maybe some of your other friends and those in the community? I mean, it probably would have led me down a bad path. The church is optimistic about the possibility of a smoother foundation and how it can open its space to the community even more. Well, I've always been a person with glass half full or more. And so this is just getting my, my wheels turning of seeing what else we can offer. And Cuyahoga County Council is expected to vote on the floor money before the end of November. And the church and the city, they are looking at ways now of possibly using this for volleyball and other events. What a great update. Love to see it and can't wait to see what comes next, which I know you'll tell us about. We'll bring you the news when it happens. Yeah. <laughs>